Uh, there you are. No, no, this isn't a bad time at all. In fact, right now I would be most grateful for some company and a distraction. Would you be so kind as to provide that for me? I was hoping you would say that. Please, sit. You must have come here for more than just to check on me. I've learned to read your expressions, dear. Right now you seem rather guilty, as if you're bothering me. You can tell me what you need, dear. I told you. I want a distraction. I would give anything to not have to think about the things that I'm thinking of at this moment. You can help me with that by telling me what you came here for. You wanted to know if I was well enough to tailor you. Of course, dear. Please, have a seat right here. Turn around so you can see your reflection. Unless, of course, you want me to let my imagination run free. Oh, really? You want me to decide everything for you today? And why is that? Do you think that's what I need right now? You and David. You can read me like an open book. He was always so eager to turn the new page and discover another secret of mine. You, on the other hand, you act as if you already know everything you need. You use it to your advantage and to mine. I appreciate that. You're both so very similar yet. There are different things about you. Both things that I need. Yes, it would help me greatly if you allowed me to decide today. But of course, there is just one thing I need you to decide. Precisely, dear. How do you want to look today? Masculine? Feminine? Androgynous? A little bit of both? You wish to look more feminine today. I can help you with that. Just sit still. Yes, we'll be starting with your hair first. Once I can get it to an appropriate length and texture, that will allow me to see where I need to go from there. I must admit, I always find amusement in this. The way you seem to relax when my fingers run through your hair. The way you scrunch up your nose when you feel my power working through you. It tickles, does it? I suppose that's to be expected. The only reason we don't feel our bodies growing, our bodies changing, our skin dying and being replaced, our hair and nails growing until we barely remember what they used to look like. The only reason we can't feel it is because it happens so slowly. If the process were accelerated like it is now, I imagine it would feel quite similar. Although, I do wonder if my power has any effect on it. Perhaps it makes it feel a bit more pleasant than if this were occurring naturally. Why do I say that? In addition to being able to alter your appearance, you know that I have the ability to heal your wounds. Small things, of course. Not nearly as powerful as a healer. But still, I do have my skills. And that means I can soothe pain fairly well. 
I don't imagine that it would hurt terribly. But I do imagine there would be a bit of discomfort as your hair grows. For example, after I cut it last time, you couldn't stop scratching at your head. It was almost as if it was too prickly against your skin, a bit too short for you. As it grows, and as new strands of hair grow as well, I would imagine that that same prickling sensation would return. However, it is dulled by my magic, it would seem. I know it isn't truly magic, dear. But it sounds far more enchanting that way, don't you think? Indeed. I always do know how to make things sound more beautiful than they truly are. More mystical. I suppose that's another part of my power, isn't it? There we are. Your hair is the length I need it to be. Now for the texture. Do you mind if I add a bit of a wave to your hair? I think it would suit you beautifully. No, it won't be anything that would make it difficult for you to run a brush or a comb through it, I promise. Well, I can't assure you that I won't find myself playing with it occasionally. You know how I adore seeing my handiwork. Don't pretend you don't enjoy it. There. Just like this. Is that comfortable for you? Good. Now, on to your face. I did alter your skin a little bit last time, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yes, I wanted to give you a bit more of a masculine look by altering... Not necessarily your bone structure, of course. That would be most painful. And to undo it, it would be difficult. No, I altered your skin to make it sit a bit differently on your bones. I made it a bit sharper, the angles more defined, more rugged looking. Now if you want to look a bit more feminine, a few of them need to be softened. There we are. That looks quite lovely. The soft curves mixed with a few sharp angles. Yes, indeed, that does look rather beautiful. My apologies. I... I don't know what's come over me. I just... I feel as if I'm looking at you the way that David always looked at his inventions. Something new he'd created. Some new problem he'd found the answer to. I feel as if I'm looking at you with that same one's own adoration. And the thought of that I know. I know it's all right to miss him. I know that it's natural to miss him. I love him. Loved him. With all my heart and soul. Between the two of you, you always made me feel like Though I looked different, though my face had changed, I was still beautiful. You helped me to realize that my beauty wasn't only skin deep. You showed me that I don't need to use that 
as my armour. And even if I did, it would still work. I am truly grateful to still have you in my life. No matter how much I miss him, no matter how much I wish he was still here, you have no idea the gratitude I feel knowing that I still have you, knowing that I didn't lose everyone who made me feel this way, who helped me to see that, that what is inside me is harder than steel. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for going off on a tangent like that. You didn't come here for this. You came here so that I could help you. Uh, you really must keep still, dear. Otherwise I won't be able to work on you properly. I'm all right. I promise you I am fine. As fine as can be expected, at least. I won't lie. There are so many days where it feels impossible to even get out of bed. Where even taking another breath feels like a challenge. But such is the power of grief, is it not? Nothing can overcome it. It fades, the pain dulls, but it never truly leaves you. I'm simply waiting for the pain to dull, and I can manage that. The pain that I have felt in this lifetime has been immense. It has been something that I can never escape, it seems. And I've survived it. I will survive this too. I assure you. You're very sweet to say that. I know that I won't be alone. I know that I'll always have you beside me. However, the only issue with that is... I can't say it. No, truly, dear, I should not say another word. What makes it so difficult to have you by my side is the way that you remind me of him. You are my most cherished friend. You've been with me through so much. You've helped me in more ways than I could ever describe. But I see him in you. The way you care for me. The way that you look at me, even. You're just enough like him to remind me of what I've lost, but not nearly enough to replace him, to fill that empty feeling in my chest, the place where my heart used to be. I know that isn't fair to you. I know you can't help it, and I wouldn't want you to. You remind me of him in all the best ways, and to attempt to undo that would turn you into some horrid person I would never wish to know. I have no wish to change you, not at your core. Yet at the same time I wish that I didn't think of the love that I have lost every time I look at you. 
and worse still. Everything I loved about him, everything I cherished about him, everything that made me fall for him every single day, I see so much of it in you.